you guys are going to have to bear with me here. I need to compose my thoughts here. I'm just at a loss for words right now. Um, like, literally, I don't even know how to sum, sum this up in words right now. With the stuff that I'm seeing right now, especially on my news feeds, it's very hard for me to stomach all this information. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, if you're not quite aware, um, there was a debate in Georgia, from my understanding, and those that know me for any extended period of time, you know that I'm not really big into history like that, and I wouldn't consider myself a political person, and I didn't watch the news. But I did read the, the headlines, and I saw what was on my news feed, and I can't help to think to myself, like, where did we go wrong? Like, literally, where did we go wrong? Where do we go wrong as a nation? You mean to tell me that this is a peaceful country? I, like, how, how do I fathom all this? How do I fathom this? Like, I'm, I'm really trying... How do I take all of this in? And I'm not here to make it all about me because it isn't about me. This is bigger than me. It's about all of us as a whole. Us as a country, where did we go wrong? I don't know why, but something compelled me to do this video. This is sort of like a rant here, and I'm going to ramble here, so don't pay attention to me. Please don't mind me. I'm just, I'm sort of rambling here. Because I'm trying to gather and process my thoughts and how I want to talk. Because really, I'm just trying to understand all of this. This is really hard stuff for me to stomach. All the stuff that I'm seeing on the news... In the previous video that I did back in back in August, I feel like half the things that I said did not resonate with people. You have all these so-called protesters, when to my interpretation, really, it, it appears to be a riot at the state's capital. All this for an election. Like, I don't understand this. I, I just, I don't get it. And I'm not trying to be emotional here, but really, this is sort of like a rant video. Talk about our country being over 240 years old. Democracy? Where? Where is it? I'm like, literally, like, I, I almost feel sick to my stomach right now. Just all this stuff that I'm seeing. This corruption, this chaos. So it's, it's come down to it, has it? it? It's really come down to this. I'm going to say this. To all those in the front lines, and to anyone in general, my thoughts are with you. Hang in there. Please stay, stay strong. Do your best to try to hold on. And let's let's hold tight, because this is just... I, I can't even wrap my head around this right now. I just... I can't do this. I gotta step off of Facebook. I'm sorry. I, I need a moment to kind of step away from the media, especially the news, because this... what Everything that I'm seeing right now... 
all these fights that are breaking out right now, anything that I'm not just said on my YouTube didn't resonate with you guys, I don't know what will. So again, not to make this video about me, because it's not about me in any shape or form, but to illustrate this point, this is why you have folks like me hiding in the corner, because of all the chaos that you're seeing, and it's not just in New York State, it's everywhere in the country, in our country especially. Given the current state of effects right now, the state of affairs, with the riots that are going on, on top of the coronavirus pandemic, I'm going to share this. This has been a very exhausting couple of months. In light of past recent events, it's been very exhausting. Being one of the essential workers as myself, it's very exhausting. Some days are very exhausting. When you're dealing with people of all different walks, it gets very challenging. You have, you're dealing with people with different personalities, all different walks, different point views, different opinions, and it's very exhausting some days. It makes you not want to get out of your And bear in mind, this is not me rationalizing for everybody else because I can't speak from everyone else's experience. I can only speak from my personal experience. Having that being said, when you're out here dealing with the most difficult people that you will encounter in your life, some days it can make you feel so down to the point that it makes you put everything to the side. All those things that you like to do, pushing them to the side, like completely, putting them all to the side, like you don't want to do anything else. All you want to do is just sit down, buckle down, watch TV, slouch on the couch, eat snacks, and the more. Like legit, this is a really scary world and there's only but so much that people like me can take so much. Dealing with people's attitudes and like their I, under, I can understand people having their opinions and their viewpoints, but then bashing somebody else based on their viewpoints, if that makes any sense. Does that kind of make sense what I'm trying to explain here? Basically, there's people out here in the world. They're, we're dealing with a lot of difficult people. You're talking like the Kens and the Karens of the world, okay? These people walk into the grocery store, or any discount store, really. They're very entitled. They expect everything to be handed to them. And truth of the matter is, that's not how, that's not the way things work around here. In order to get what we want in life, sometimes we have to work for the things that we actually like. Being able to maintain the space, for example. I know it's a little bit cluttered, but being able to maintain the space and all the belongings, it takes working some days to actually maintain the space. You have to constantly be on your feet working nonstop every single week. And nothing is handed to us. Nothing is handed to us on the silver platter. So again, to the viewers that are watching this channel, I do apologize if it appears that I'm going if I'm going off the subject. But the main point that I'm trying to explain here is we as a whole need to stop with the entitlement act. We need to stop with this whole frustration. We need to stop the backlash. Stop fighting. Stop the entitlement. Stop backlashing each other based on differences and come together as a whole. Put the differences aside. Whatever beliefs that we have, we, there has to be some sort of mutual agreement. I said this in my past previous video back in August, but I don't think it resonates with some people because I try to break things down. I try to be very thorough about these things to the best of my ability given the skills that I have been given, and it doesn't seem to be cracking through. But to the few that do take the time out, thank you for bearing with me and having the patience as I'm trying to process my thoughts based on what I'm seeing and what I'm reading on the news. This is heavy information. How a person or people could actually sit in front of the TV screen for hours watching the news is way beyond me. I don't know how you do it, but I commend you guys because for me, this is too much. I can't deal with it. This is part of the reasons why I have to stay out of the news. I can't even get myself to read the newspaper because it's just this madness going on. It's, it's chaotic. Like, we're all fighting based on color, all these things, all these beliefs about each other. When we are, at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all one race. We're one human race. Regardless of our difference of opinions and the way that we see each other, did my demonstration with the fruits and vegetables not crack through? I, I, I ask, because, I mean, granted... Yes, I'm not the most powerful speaker, but I try my best to be coherent in the best manner that I possibly can. 
And it gets very frustrating to do these kind of videos because it doesn't seem like I'm cracking through to folks. But in the process, I try to, on my end, I try to focus on the few people that do love me and the few people that do pay attention. So thank you to you guys. But for those of you that, you know, are watching this, I think most of us, and speaking for myself, we need to reflect on ourselves. We really need to use this time, especially for this year, to really sit down and to really reflect. Reflect on our actions and reflect on our thoughts and behaviors because this is not a very good start to the year. Having said all of that, I will go on and state this. While it is true that there are most of us in the United States that are not built to fight or to go into the front lines or to do protesting or to join rallies and all these different things that you're seeing, while most of us are not always built for that, I believe in my heart that there are other ways to contribute. It doesn't always necessarily entail going in the front lines. There are ways to help. There are ways that we can make a difference. Being there for somebody, making a difference, like holding the door for somebody or handing the strangers a few extra change. You know, little acts of kindness. You'd be surprised how much those can go along. Making phone calls, texting, writing a letter, sending a card, calling, texting, all these different things that I'm listing right here. Just overall checking on each other or even talking to strangers, even people that you may not know, give them a compliment, something. Any little act of kindness goes a long way. It doesn't necessarily entail fighting. I know, I know as far as defending our country, we have to do what's right for our country, but there are other ways that I'm listing. It doesn't necessarily entail, I'm not very big on violence. I've never been a ver very volatile person. You know, you see a person like me, do you think I'm a person that's built to fight? You tell me, and, though, and those of you that know me for any longer periods of time, do you think I'm a person that's very volatile to everyone? I don't believe that we should go down that route. I think that we should all come together as a collective to try to make a difference. Whatever is bothering us, we need to find some way to be able to express ourselves without the need to be a... So I'm going to stop talking now because I know I'm tuning some of your ears off and I know you're tired of hearing me. But I just needed to get some things off my chest, as there's some things that are bothering me. And one of the things that are bothering me right now is what you're seeing on that TV screen and what you're reading on the headlines in regards to the debates that are taking place in Georgia. We have to get it. So I'll go ahead and conclude this video by saying this. Take some time off the media. Try to go to bed tonight with a good conscience. Wake up tomorrow smelling the coffee and trying to stay positive. Go out, try to be active, try to call a friend or text message, and just do something to take your mind off of this madness. It can be anything. Go for a bike ride, go for a hike, take a bus ride, do something. Try to preoccupy your time because this is getting a bit too much. And I'll conclude this video. I hope you guys have a good night. Let's try to stay positive. Let's not be chaotic. Let's not be hostile towards one another. And try to take care of what I say. Alrighty, I love you guys. Have a good night.